Mahashivratri 2024 is as auspicious, as beautiful, as powerful as any other Shivratri in any other year. Why? Because the celestial bodies realign themselves in such a way that the vibrations, the biomagnetic energies empower the body, mind and the spirit to realize the deep oneness, the Kaivalya that lies within. Maya is traveling and out of the country, so we will not be able to offer anything online live as we did the last few years. But nevertheless, take this time to go within and may the divine Shiva energy, your true self, guide you to higher realms of spiritual consciousness. I also choose this occasion to share a short video I had made as part of the KYG Shrine series. It was meant to come later, but nevertheless, I thought I will take advantage of this auspicious night and offer this video to the divine and to the divine within all of you. It is about a journey that I want to undertake for my own cleansing, for the clarity of KYG, to make KYG, Kaivalya Yoga Gurukulam and everything that we stand for a center of healing, healing not just for the body but for the mind and for the spirit, a center of powerful energy that brings about a new birth within, a new personality within, where we carve our own path to the ultimate reality. May the divine in all of us guide us and bless us in this beautiful journey of life that we are all in. Have a blessed Shivratri. Thank you. Clean Kaivalya Om Namaste. Welcome to KYG Kaivalya Yoga Gurukulam. We are doing this series on the K, we call it the KYG Shrine series. So if this is the first video you are bumping into, then please go to our channel KYG Yoga on YouTube. Check out the playlist called the KYG Shrine and follow them in sequence so that you will know the context in which I am talking. In this episode, I want to talk about two very personal and very special features of the KYG Shrine which is perhaps so unique that it, will, it is not there anywhere in the world. Um, and I say this with all humility. And that is the eye in the lingam and the stones in the crown of Adi Shakti. What makes this very special and very unique here in the Kaivalya Yoga Gurukulam is divine grace. Every act, every portion of this Kaivalya Gurukulam, every part of KYG, everything that we are going, we are doing here, by offering here, is guided by the Divine. This Lingam, as it was being made, the sculptor wanted to draw something as they normally do for the third eye and create Vibhuti marks and so on. I said, no, that, that's not Kaivalya Lingam. I don't want that at this moment. Just keep it blank and then as months progressed in the vision that was presented to me this happened what you see here is a saligramam saligramam is saligram or saligramam is a very unique stone that is found in certain river beds in north india and sometimes even in the south india what is so special about this particular unique Shaligram? Did I pick it up in a store? Did I find it in a river? Uh, no. This was a divine gift, a divine materialization, personally given to my father by our beloved Guru Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. My father was a devout, devout practitioner of rituals and pujas and he loved the idea of rituals and Baba appreciated that and in the course of his stay in the ashram as I was also staying with them he called them separately I was not part of this interview he called them separately and then he told my father I know you do a lot of puja 
here is one for you to continue your worship. And he materialized this beautiful Shali Gramam and gave it to my father. I was never connected to that Shali Gramam because it was not for me. It was my father. My father did puja and I just saw him do the puja. I, reverend, I had a great reverence to it, but I never personally heart to heart connection was not established. And then when my father passed away, my mother took over the worship of this lingam and she kept worshipping that every day with simple Om Namah Shivaya because Swami, Swami said, and when I say Swami, it is Baba. Baba said, if you offer with devotion, even a two spoons of tea that you are drinking, you offer it, that is enough. I will accept it. In that sense, that there is bhava and the intent behind is so much more important than the mantra and the, and the fashion in which it is chanted and all. Not that that is any, we should not revere that. That is an important part of the practice. But then the intention is far, far, far more important as to why we are doing it. What is the emotion? What is the feeling in all this? So my mother was doing it. In 2013, when she passed away, then I knew this belonged to parents and therefore it was not mine to test, say, all right, my father and mother passed away, so it now belongs to me. I couldn't snatch, snatch away because that, that was not happening to me in my consciousness. Uh, it, this was Baba's gift to parents and therefore I spoke to Maya's parents and I said, you are my in-laws and not just in-laws, you're in love, if you will, and therefore father and mother, so you take care of this lingam from now. That is how I'm being guided to give it to you. I don't want this, um, because still does not come, it's still not time for it to come to me. I don't feel that connection yet. And they were so glad, they received it with great reverence. And the last 10 or 12 years, uh, from 2013 until 2024 now, they have been very reverentially worshipping it every day, drinking the Abhishekam water and so on. And I thought that will continue. But when this vision presented itself to me, um, it was so powerful and that vision was when this lingam was being made uh, last year the vision came to me where this portion there was a exact exactly where you see now there was a hole created and this lingam was placed there this was not even in my consciousness I wasn't even thinking about this lingam at all because this belonged to them, they are worshipping. I said, this is the KYG Lingam and so on. I was thinking on my own. But when this came, I jumped up from my bed and I said, oh my gosh, this is where it finally needs to rest. So it is that I went back to the sculptor and two days before this Lingam was brought, I told him, I need an eye. This will be the eye. This is the one that is going to energize this concept of the Kaivalya Lingam. This is the soul of the Kaivalya Lingam. This is the one that makes it so unique that this Lingam cannot be found anywhere else. And this has come to stay. However, the guidance that is coming to me, the feeling that is coming to me, is that I need to do austerity and penance to earn this lingam. Not that it has to belong to me, but earn the right to worship, earn the privilege to tomorrow offer water on it. And for that, I am going to take this lingam to 108 different temples and offer Abhishekam to it. So this is going to take almost a year from now and only after that there will be the prana pratishta of this temp of this particular kaivalya lingam prana pratishta is where prana is everywhere god is everywhere but then we focus that energy and bring that into life so that is going to take a while it's not happening right now right now there's just a divine abode getting ready i need to practice penance and austerity to be able to become worthy of maintaining this place. After all, we are just caretakers of the KYG shrine. This is a shrine. I want it to be open to all people of all caste, all religions, all faith. All You can come and hug the lingam. You can come and worship the lingam. I want it to be your God as much as it is mine. Because this is a representation of our inner soul. But for that to happen, to make it alive, to make it powerful, to make it a healing 
energy, what I am being guided is to take this for my own inner cleansing and to make myself worthy of receiving this. I want to take it to 100 and different holy temples, ancient temples, to the, to the ancient rivers and offer my worship to it and say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then it will come and find its place and then we will do the Prana it is It is a great privilege to be able to offer this and to be able to witness this and to be able to participate in this. And therefore I say this with all humility and gratitude. And then comes the other part. As this vision materialized, it became clear to me that nothing belongs to me anymore. Everything that Maya and I have, we have given it to KYG. This is one of the most precious gifts I have treasured all these years. On January 14th, he called me on stage and praised me and created a ring. On January 16th, my father's birthday, he, he changed that to this nine stone ring and gave it to me and said, this is your childhood desire, wear it. That was 32 or 33 years ago. Today, this ring, these powerful nine stones have also found their place as a crown jewel of the Adi Shakti. And when we talk about Adi Shakti, you will know why the ring was placed here as a crown jewel of Adi Shakti. Because she represents creation. And the way we relate to creation is the nine planets that we have, the nine cosmic entities, if you will, that govern our lives, that create the biomagnetic radiations within which our realities find manifestation. Those nine cosmic entities are represented in the nine gemstones of this ring that Baba so beautifully materialized and gifted me with all his love. That is what will make this Adi Shakti come to life. When we come and worship here, when we come and touch her, when we come and feel her, we draw that cosmic energy through this ring in and through that into us and we take with us the, those healing energies where we can reshape our destinies bring back that concept of self-empowerment and love and once again get into that one-on-one -on -one connection with God. That is what will make this KYG Shrine so unique and so blessed. So it, this ring will also come along with me to these because I have been wearing this on my body and I'm not a perfect man, I was not a perfect man, I am not and I'm not saying it to demean myself but I'm saying it just to be very genuine and honest. So I have to also sanctify the ring, cleanse the ring as much as I need to cleanse my inner soul. Once again, undertake that arduous pilgrimage to these 108 places and make myself and these things worthy of bringing the shrine to life. It is with this that I offer these thoughts um, here today in this vlog, just so that you understand what is this ring that is in the, as a crown jewel of Devi? What is this um, stone that is now the third eye of the Kaivalya Lingam? As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed, stay inspired. And when all of this is ready, you are all most welcome to come and visit this holy place and seek blessings and shower blessings. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Shiva.